Well, good morning, Basel fans, and welcome here to Okinawa, Japan, as we're live here in the city of Okinawa, the 10,000 seat arena of Okinawa City. Well, this is going to be a very interesting game, of course, and these two teams battling here in the Western Conference. This is B League Basketball as Ryoko Golden Kings, they'll be taking on and hosting the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you may be. Welcome here to this beautiful arena, which will be one of the host cities of the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Well, other host countries will be Indonesia and, of course, two venues in Gilas, Filipinas. Well, there are the B-League standings in the Western Conference. Ryoko Golden King standing at 29 victories, 9 losses, while the Hiroshima Dragonflies sit just below them with 28 wins and 10 losses. A win for the visitors. We'll see both teams tied record and 29 and 10. Well, of course, for those watching us live on YouTube, a very big reason for today's game is going to be the opening game debut for the big man. The future of Gilas basketball, Kai Soto. But now we're going to take a look at the last two games, of course. Well, the Ruka Golden Kings finishing the last two games very well on the road, hitting that double double head to head against Santa Neo Phoenix. 30 Ravenna playing in that game, of course. Santa Neo Phoenix having a very tough season this year. The Ruka Golden Kings led by Jack Cooley, the big man, former NBA player for the Sacramento Kings. Really dominating. Again, having a very, very good year. You can see Ryoko Golden Kings living and dying from the perimeter, shooting a very, very impressive three-point percentage. Kishimoto, one of their top point guards and arguably one of the best point guards in the B-League. Uh, head coach Dai Okatani leading the charge here. While Hiroshima Dragonflies splitting their head-to-head -head one win and one victory against the Guma Crane Thunders. Well, you can see Evans just getting straight to the basket. No contact, no problem. And again, he finishes that one with ease. And Kerry Blackshear, look how they move the ball so effectively. Terashima hitting the three-point in the corner. Sharing is carrying. Well, Blackshear proving to be one of the top players this season in the B-League. As we mentioned last season, played in Galatasaray in Turkey. Had a very good year. But now he's going to be traveling here to Okinawa. Coach Milling, a man who played his pro career in France, but also briefly in Japan, Moved over to Japanese Basel in 2016, where now he's made himself a big home. Well, Hiroshima Dragonflies, the key players you want to look out for this team. Some very talented players. Ryo Terashima, one of their top scorers, along with Seya Funyo, but Kerry Blackshear, Dwayne Evans, Nick Mayo. But the big talking point here tonight is the man from Gilas, Filipinas, Mr. Kai Soto. Many regarded as the future of Puso basketball. Again, currently we have just over 6,000 viewers watching here on YouTube. Let me know what you think. Is Kai Soto the real deal? What's he going to get tonight? And will he help that man get the first victory on the road here? And a doubleheader. This is B-League Basketball. Well, Coach Milling, of course, man, he spent many years playing in France for Toulon and also coach the likes of Limoges before making the journey over here to Japan. Now, remember, he was also a player for Hitachi back in 1998-99, where he got an introduction to Japanese basketball. So again, it's going to be very interesting to see how he gets off the mark here. Well, tempo will be key for these teams. There is a side of lineup. There is Kai Soto. Again, spent the last two years playing in the Australian NBL, where he averaged just over seven points per game. Now, the two games where he had scoring records were against the New Zealand Breakers, where he had 16 points in both those games, but also has featured for Char Reyes, Gilas Filipinas team in the FIBA Asia Cup and World Cup qualifiers. Now, he didn't play in the Asia Cup this summer in Indonesia, but he is highly anticipated to play for Gilas this summer at the 2021 FIBA World Cup, which will be hosted here in this arena, Okinawa, along with Indonesia and in the Philippines. Well, that is the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Let's get set now to look at the players coming from Ruko Golden Kings.
Well, then you look at the statistics between these two teams, no surprise, of course. Very interesting to see Roku Golden Kings just slightly shooting a little bit less from the perimeter. Again, this is a very, very good three-point shooting team. It's something that the Hiroshima Dragonflies will definitely want to come in and try to take advantage of. Well, to all of our Filipino fans watching live on the YouTube stream, one player you will be familiar with is Alan Durham. Played briefly in the PBA for a couple of conferences. Again, it's proven to be a very key factor here for the Roku Golden Kings. Other bigs they have is Josh Duncan, the likes of Jack Cooley, as you mentioned, the former NBA player, and Carl Tamayo. Again, left the University of Philippines to go and play here in the B-League for the Roku Golden Kings and made his debut at the recent EASL, the East Asian Super League, where Roku Golden Kings finished in fourth place. Well, that's Co Flippin' there. Now, Co Flippin' was a key member of the Chiba Jets who won the B League final in 2021, defeating the likes of the Utsunami of Brex. Hugh Watanabe, University of Portland, recently played for the Akatsuki Five in the 2020 one Tokyo Olympics. Carl Tamayo, the big name for the Philippines, six foot seven. Many fans watching live on the YouTube stream right now. Many debating who will have a better game tonight. Will it be Tamayo or will it be Kai Soto? We will find out momentarily. Well, this is the very good thing here about this team. We're going to take a look at the starting fives. No doubt we're probably going to see Jack Cooley, but there is Josh Duncan, the man, the big man inside. A very, very good player, of course. And there is Kishimoto, one of the quickest guards you're going to find. And also, their top sharpshooter from the perimeter. Well, this man can absolutely shoot the lights out. Keita Imamura. Well, tempo will be key with this team. They'll try to push the tempo as much as possible. As Hayato Maki, also in the side of the lineup. But the big man. There you can see Jack Cooley. Now, if you remember Jack Cooley, played in the NBA after his four years at the University of Notre Dame with the Fighting Irish. We're well, going to be moments away from tip off. There's Dai Okatani, the head coach of the Ryoko Golden Kings. And a very well experienced coach. Has done a phenomenal job of getting this team to really play together, buy into the philosophy but if you want to know the key player for the Rooker Golden Kings, it's all about Jack Cooley. The big man down low really knows how to defend the paint. Has some very good post moves. But also, this is a team that likes to shoot from the perimeter very, very well. Well, basketball fans, I can see a lot of you are watching from Angpilapinas. So let us know who are you supporting. There are your starting fives. Kishimoto will be going up against Terashima. Kerry Blackshear will be going up against Josh Duncan. And the key matchup, Dwayne Evans, Jack Cooley, but Kai Soto, that is the big name. Why many of you are going to be watching here today, Kaiju has going to be making his debut. But who do you think will win? Will it be the Roku Golden Kings or will it be the Hiroshima Dragonflies? We're set for tip. This is B-League Basketball. We're going to be live momentarily. Looks like Kai Soto probably is going to match up with Jack Cooley. So this will be very interesting because Kai Soto, aspiring to play in the NBA. Now, will he match up well there against one of the best post defenders in international basketball, Jack Cooley? We're underway now. Terashima heavily got it on the ball. Well, excuse me, Kishimoto throwing this one down here to Jack Cooley. Cooley looking to go to isolate. Goes in the lane now. Good defense by Kai. Well, it's going to be a foul, actually. 
So Kai Soto already picking up his first foul against Jack Cooley. Well, this is what Jack Cooley does very well. Just tries to take on the big man Kai. Use the combo. I'm not sure that's a foul, to be honest, because to me it looks like Jack Cooley jumps into him. Kai Soto, the, the child of two professional basketball players from Gilas Filipinas. And again, if you speak to coach Yang Giao, the NLX Road Warriors, he'll tell you that he remembers seeing Kai as a kid coming to all the practices with his father. Well, many would say that Kai Soto has basketball DNA. Cooley makes a second free throw. Well, Hiroshima Dragonflies will try to get into their offense very early on. And again, tempo will be key. Another turnover now. Duncan tries to push this. Well, they almost intercepted. Good defense again now. Soto in transition. Big man lays it up. Well, Kaiju gets his first two points in the B League. Again, you like our Kai Soto again. Mobile, very big. Knows how to run up and down the floor. Again, he has to move the ball effectively. He has to try and cement position very early on in the low block. Cooley now. Again, trying to post up here against Kaiju. Kicking this one out. Trying to cement position again. Goes up all the way. Can't get it. Dragonflies come up with it. What's a three on three in transition? The hesitation goes in with the fang run again. The follow up. Well, Blackshear tried to go for the throwdown. But in the end, the layup has been scored in transition. Beautiful basketball from the Dragonflies. We'll go into that pick and roll sequence now. Kicking out to Kishimoto. Imamura tries a deep three. Can't get it. Dragonflies come up with a rebound. Well, every missed attempt here can be a now transition point. This Kaiju just turns it over. Soto a little bit slow on the hands now. And there's another kick out again. Imamura tries another three-pointer. Left wide open. This man could definitely light it up from the perimeter. Because Imamura played very well against the TNT Tropan Giga at the East Asian Super League in Utsunomiya. It's Blackshear setting a ball screen. Now Blackshear can't hit three points. Pump fakes. Another kick out. Good ball movement here from the Dragonflies to try another three. Three is up and the three is good. Ryo Terashima. Again, you like the way this team moves the ball effectively. And another foul is going to be called on the ground. And well, this one's going to be called against Terashima. It's Keita Imamura just to run the foul. Well, to all of our fans of the Philippines watching Magandan Arao, Kamusta? Who are you supporting? Are you supporting the Hiroshima Dragonflies? Or are you supporting Ryoko Golden Kings? Well, no offensive foul there called against Josh Duncan. Clear push on Kerry Blackshear. Well, Blackshear leaves him. Kishimoto now doesn't look like he wants to shoot on Kai Soto. Kicks out Imamura. Made one three. Makes another one. And again, good basketball here from the Ryoko Golden Kings. Well, that's going to be good here for Iro Imamoto. Well, excuse me, Kishimoto and Imamoto. Their confidence. Well, interesting. Golden Kings going into a 2-3 zone. Dwayne Evans. Again, Imamoto doing good defense here on Soto. Can't get it. Well, the rebound secured. Golden Kings now. Shots here to take the lead. 7-7. Good perimeter shooting coming from Imamoto. The question is, where else... Can they get this going? Another kick out. Kishimoto in the corner. He fires a three. Puts it up. Nails it. And again, beautiful basketball coming from the Ryoko Golden Kings. Well, Dwayne Evans just able to draw the foul there against Hayato Maki. Well, right now, can see all the Philippine fans saying, Anong Oras Nagayon. Well, at the moment here for Hiroshima, it should be Kai Soto time. As Dwayne Evans, top of the key. Thought about taking the shot now. Soto, the post up. They could have gone three second violation. Well, well, Soto just took a little bit too long to try and cement the position. And even more, good defense against Kai Soto, frustrating him. We'll think about some of the great bigs that have come out of Philippine basketball. The likes of Juma Fajardo, the six-time MVP of the PBA. And other players, of course, bigs from Gilas, which Kai will play against. The likes of Greg Slaughter. Good defense. Gets rejected. Kerry Blackshear 
says Magandagabi. Good evening or good night. Well, that is just goodbye. Get out of here. This is my house. Well, that's the good thing of having Kerry Blackshear as a power forward, but even more, again, wide open the corner. Another three-pointer. Can't get it. Kaiju with a rebound. And now, try to push this one. Evans trying to get something going here. Can't get it. Hiroshima again. Just need to patiently try to break down the 2-3 zone. But an offensive foul is going to be called against Kerry Blackshear. Well, that is an interesting one. I think Blackshear was trying to cement position. They're trying to fight for position. But in the end, they have to call the foul. So it's going to be possession back to the real cool Golden Kings. Well, if you want to know about Dwayne Evans, many years he played in Germany for MRP Riesen Lübersberg. And when he played in Germany, his head coach was John Patrick current head coach of the Chiba Jets also played on the same team as Jack Cooley which was Dinamo Sassari that was in Italy of course and now both players thriving in the B-League Dima Moore tries another three-point that goes out of bounds and that will be I believe that's going to be well they're going to give this one to Roku Golden Kick so great job by Josh Duncan fighting for possession well there's the three points have a look at the replay here I think that does come off of Dwayne Evans. That's the right call, I believe. Well, Duncan thought about taking it out. Tries to attack here. Tries to dish off the turnover. Now they got numbers here. Three on two. Kai's running down the middle. Soto goes in. Wrap round. Ooh, we are nah. Are you serious? Kai went in like George Gervin with a finger roll. Well, that is something I cannot explain. That Kaiju went down the middle like the trailer. Again, nice transition play. Both teams playing a 2-3 zone. This could be costly because Kishimoto could hit three-pointers. Well, the zone just slightly paying off now. Going to call another foul here, I believe. Well, that might be an unsportsmanlike foul. Maybe. Maybe. It's a definite breakaway, of course, but they're going to make a change, so. Well, no one sports from, like, has been called. So this will be very, very interesting to see how this one is played out. We're trying to move the ball effectively now. Trying to get some open looks. Well, Kai's got to get out of the paint. It's going to be another three-second violation if he's not careful. Evans for three. He takes it. Can't get it. They come up with a loose ball. Evans trying to look for a post up now. Cooley coming for the help side. They try another three. Three is up. Three is beautifully tucked away. And again, beautiful ball movement from the Hiroshima Dragonflies. They now take the lead against the Ryoko Golden Kings. Hiroshima trying to stay in a 2-3 zone now. Trying to force... Ryoko Golden Kings to take the three-pointers. Alan Durham, the former PBA player, just takes Kai Soto to work. Well, Durham had some good games in the East Asian Super League. But many Philippine basketball fans, you will remember Alan Durham for his days playing in the PBA. And Dwayne Evans now trying to take it up to the basket. Draws a foul against Jack Cooley, so it's going to be two free throws. Foul is on Jack Cooley. Well, that's going to be a problem, of course. I mean, they got to try and make sure that they don't give away too many silly fouls. They're going to need Jack Cooley for the entire game. I mean, he is one of the very best post defenders that we have here in the B League. So, to all of our Philippine basketball fans, Alan Durham, currently now playing for Ryoko Golden Kings, you will probably remember his time playing for Maralco Bolts in 2017. Played for him twice, actually. He also played in 2019. Now, prior to coming to the Ryoku Golden Kings, he also played for Niigata Albirex. Team also in the very north of Japan. Beautiful city, of course. But he was also big time playing in Korea. Also played for the Busan KT Sonic Boom. So, very experienced player. And also played for Barako Bull Energy, a former PBA team. Now, it's only a one point lead here to Ryoku Golden Kings. Re 
2.50 to go now. Kai's out of the game, so Dwayne Evans is playing the center in a very small lineup. Trying to keep Cooley off the rebounds. Well, Nick Mayo also checking into the game here for the rush of the Dragonflies. Mayo thought about taking the three-point. doesn't go for it. And that's the pick and pop. He does like to take that shot, but again, now goes for the tough mid-range. Off the dribble, gets a little drop on it, and Mayo comes in big time off the dribble. 3.20 to go here in the first. Hiroshima Dragonflies with a three-point lead. Remember, Hiroshima wins this game. They'll be tied on the same record as the Roku Golden teams. Both teams fighting for a top two position. Sitting right behind the Shimane Susano Magic with the top team in this conference. Kishimoto for three. And again, that's why you don't play a 2-3 zone defense against Okinawa Ryuko Golden Kings. Kishimoto along with Imamura, two backcourt players that really know how to spread the defense. Well, Isaiah Murphy also in the game now. Mayo mid-range, can't get it, but they get an offensive rebound. Now Tosuji also in the back wall. Evans, that's an offensive foul, surely. Getting an illegal screen set. Well, to all the fans watching on YouTube, again, I want to know, who are you supporting? Are you supporting Kai Soto's Hiroshima Dragonflies? Or are you supporting Cal Tamayo's Ryoko Golden Kings? Well, checking into the game now here for Hiroshima Dragonflies, Shogo Asayama. So we have Jomel Medua watching from Australia. G'day, mate. Welcome to the B-League game between Ryoko Golden Kings and the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Golden Kings now with a chance to take the lead. Kishimoto going all the way to dish up. Beautiful pass. Black Shade back into the game. That goes out of bounds. That's going to be possession back to the Dragonflies. Well, Cooley's just being a little bit frustrated right now. Unable to get things going. That's a beautiful drop. Look at the dive coming from Kishimoto-san. Well, I can see there we got one fan coming for Carl Tamayo. Marcelo, obviously the UP University of Philippines where Carl Tamayo played, but... Well, now that some silly fouls have been given away at them, I think this one's going to be called against Alan Durham, the former Maralco Bolt. Well, I had some good time playing in the PBA, of course. And, well, Durham just throws Kerry Blackshear to the ground. Well, Giovanni is buying a Hiroshima jersey tomorrow. Well, make sure you get Soto on the back. There's Co Flippin. Remember, Co Flippin won the B League Championship. With the Chiba Jets in 2021. Defeating Utsunami of Brex. Well, this is a good ball movement now. They get a three in the corner. Hiroshima can't get it. Duncan and Kerry Blackshear fighting for the rebound. Unable to secure it. There's Durham now trying to take on Blackshear. Golden Kings just trying to break down the defense. Trying to move effectively. Durham down the middle. Kicks out. Another three-pointer. Three is up. No good. The rebound secured it now. Hiroshima can retail. It's a bit of a risky pass there coming from Kerry Blackshear with another turnover. Begin a very, very sloppy bit of basketball now. Well, Kent Fernandez, Magandan Gabi. Right now for me, it's Magandan Arau. I'm in London at the moment. For the highly anticipated B-League fixture between the Yoko Golden Kings and Hiroshima Dragonflies. These two teams currently positions two and three in the conference. A win tonight. Four Dragonflies will put these teams both at 29 and 10. Duncan now trying to post. Go baseline. Find a Durham. Durham goes up. Count it. Gets the M1. And he'll go to the free throw line for the three-point play. Well, we got to call Alan Durham. Mr. Maralco. Well, the Maralco bolt. Getting the dive from Duncan. And he bolts that one for the three-point play. Salamat, Paul. Well, very experienced career, also playing all over Europe for that matter as well. Alan Durham, one of the best bigs here in the B League.
Well, the Morocco man, Alan Durham, making a three-point lead now here for Roka Golden Kings. But an eight-second violation is called. So again, sloppy basketball coming from the Russian Dragonflies. Really choking under intense pressure due to the full-court pressure coming from the Roka Golden Kings. Well, you kind of look at Alan Durham every time he gets the ball, and you just want to say, Mabuhai. This guy, I mean, look, he's got he's got the Gilas in him. Well, the mid-range take, he can't get the rebound secured by Nick Mayo. And now Hiroshima need to try and push this one. They got to find an opening now. Seafunio looking to post this one up. Now the double team's coming. Again, heavily anticipated defense is trying to be a backdoor play, but Cole Flippin, that's what I like to call help the helper. Cole Flippin, one of the hardest workers. Now look, Black just sees a double team, backdoor play, but Flippin just sags down to put his hand in the cookie jar. Good defense from Cole Flippin. Five on the shot clock now. Black shit trying to go baseline. Kicks out. They got to shoot the ball here. One second left. Force up a three. Blackshear offensive rebounds, got to go up with it. Bit of contact, no foul. Again, good defense by Cole Flippin. But Cole Flippin again, just a solid worker. Ten seconds left here in the first quarter. And now Mr. Morocco Bolt, Alan Durham. Two seconds left, got to get something going. Kicks out, got to shoot it. Three is up, no good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, it is the Ruka Golden Kings who have a three-point lead. We currently have 22,000 people watching. So let us know who are you supporting right now. Are you supporting Ruka Golden Kings or are you supporting Hiroshima Dragonflies? Akosi Josh Bet, Mabuhai. Right now, Kai Soto getting his first four points here in B-League Basketball. Salamat to all the people watching and all the viewers. But I want to know. I want to know your opinions because let me tell you something right now. Philippine basketball fans, they are very intelligent basketball fans. They understand the game of basketball so well. What do you think of Kai Soto's debut here in the B-League so far? Jed Egg, nice to meet you, brother. Welcome. But also, what do you think of Jack Cooley and his combo with Co Flippin? Because in my mind, Jack Cooley is probably one of the very best post defenders Strong as well. Remember, he played for the Sacramento Kings and had a very good career in Europe with the likes of MRP Rees and Liversburg. Also played in Turkey, and he also played in Italy prior to coming to the Rioja Golden Kings. That was in Dinamo Sassari. Well, here you can see, I mean, look at this. Soto down the middle. Got to love the finger roll by the big man. Kai Soto running the floor twice. Where Kai Soto probably has struggled is physically trying to post himself up in the low block. But again, look at Kai Soto. Ooh, we are nah. You got to love that move. That's Iceman, George Gervin, finger roll. But probably what a lot of the Philippine basketball fans want to see is Kai post up. And Kai just be very solid and very physical under the basket. But again, they're going to start the second quarter. Now they're going with a small lineup. So it's going to, oh, Kai is back in the game there. So Kai will play the center role. Kerry Blackshear, remember last season, was playing in Turkey for Galatasaray, one of the biggest teams in Europe. So they're going to try and match up. And now the question is, are Ryoko Golden Kings staying in his own defense? It looks like they, got, they are going to stay in the 2-3 zone. Well, we got to try and feed the ball now. In the lane, goes up. Little teardrop. Beautiful play. Again, you got to love the way he just split the defense down. That's Takutu Nakamura. Well, both teams selling into his zone now. Question is, offensively, can they move the ball? The Morocco man. Durham kicks out. Another three-point. Three is up. Three is iced away. Well, the ball movement from Roku Golden Kings. Just too much. Naoko Tashiro. Well, if Kai Soto gets a dunk, you're going to hear me say the favorite phrase. 
Soto now. Teardrop. Can't get it. Again, trying to get things a little bit away from the basketball. Moralco, man. Posting up now. Good ball movement here from Roku Golden Kings. Another 3-3 three. Three is up. No good. Well, this is where Hiroshima Dragonfly is going to push this one. Okay, now. Thinks about taking the mid-range. This time he takes it. Who said? Soto couldn't shoot it. Well, he thought about it, and as soon as he left his hand, he said, Puso. Kai Soto now up to six points. Again, one thing he hasn't been given enough credit for is his jump shot. It is a bit of a set shot, but my word, the guy does have a good shot around the basket. So we'll be Roku Golden Kings Bull on the baseline. Now a few seconds left here. Just gotta try and move the ball effectively. Six here for the Golden Kings. Left wide open. The co flipping isn't a three-point shooter, so they'll probably give away that shot. But another uncontested three-pointer. Naoki Tashiro san. Again, too much time and space. And that was the punishment that he gave. The Hiroshima Dragonfly's defense. Now the offense, Blackshear makes a little cut, finds Soto under the basket. Oh, baby! Laban Pilapinas! Puso! That's all you waited for. Kaiju with a two-handed jam. Well, Kaiju, when he can be a little bit nasty, he can indeed dominate this game. But he's got to work for it. As Morocco man, out of dirt. Well, doesn't get the three-pointer. The foul has been committed. These two teams now just patiently trying to build up their offense. Again, just need to make sure they keep getting good looks. The well, thing here now for Hiroshima Dragonflies is that they are moving the ball effectively. Just got to keep passing around the zone now. No need to play hero basketball. The Roku Golden Kings, the same goes for them as now Kerry Blackshear. He's playing at the high post. They want to get the ball to Blackshear at the free throw line. And try to get a nice now. Kai's coming high post. Kai goes for contested mid range. And that probably wasn't a good shot there because nobody was under the basket to get a rebound. And now the Morocco man. Alan Durham goes all the way. The bolts gets rejected. Kai with the block. Says not in your house. But Duncan left wide open. He'll take it. Doesn't get it. And that's another offensive rebound for Ryuko Golden Kings. They try another deep three, and again, the real good Golden Kings just lighten it up in the perimeter. And Cole Flippin isn't predominantly a three-point shooter, but now Hiroshima will call timeout as they will talk it over with their teammates. Cole Flippin, the former Chiba Jets player, has championship DNA experience in 2021, where he played alongside Yugi Togashi. Well, today, Chiba Jets playing Utsunomiya Brex, Brex that is. Well, there is Kosan Tomodachi Arigato Gozaimas, as they would say in Japanese. A very interesting perimeter shot, but nonetheless, left this one wide open. Well, to all of the Gilas fans watching right now, six point lead into Hiroshima Dragonflies. Question is, when are we going to see Carl Tamayo, the Gilas player who left the University of Philippines to play in the B League? Well, look at this. Kai Soto, Maganda Gabi, Salamat Paul. Throw it down, Kai. I want Kai to be a little bit more aggressive there. Introduce yourself to the B League. Rip the ring down. Otherwise, I'm going to give Ange Kwame a phone call. And you know Kwame's going to rip the ring down. Hey, we might as well call Renza Bando. Bring him back, bring him back from Anyang and just. I mean, Renzo Bando only two days ago went back door and tried to rip the ring down on a two-handed jam in the EASL. So, again, a lot of expectations for Kai Soto to live up to. Well, Hiroshima not trying to rush anything now, trying to move the ball effectively. Roku standing in the zone as Mayo tries a mid-range. Mayo left wide open against six that one. That's the problem with the zone defense. 
The Russian Dragonflies can effectively move the ball and get open looks, which can cause problems. Moralco Man trying to bolt his way to the basket, but kicks this one out. The Roku Golden Kings penetration kick out. Kai up against Cole Flippin, puts a hand up. That's good defense. Well, when you ask what Kai Soto does, just makes himself a solid insurance policy for the for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. That shot, not an easy one to take. Soto now looking for another post up here. Heavily guided. Good ball movement. They try another three. Three is up. No good. That goes out of bounds. That's going to be Hiroshima ball. Well, it's interesting, both teams still playing in the zone. 2 3 0. Kishimoto now back in the game here for. Well, Ryoko Golden Kings, probably one of the quickest backhole players you're going to find here in the B League. Black Shin now, six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Black Shin looking to go to work, bumps his way, draws a foul. Oh, it's going to be a. I think that's another foul on Kerry Black Shin. Well, Coach Milling, very unimpressed with the with the call there. And I think Dwayne Evans is going to come back in the game now. The former MRP Reason Lubbersburg player. And also Imamura, one of the best shooters you're going to find here in the B League. Again, we got to get Carl Tamayo in the game. Kai has left the game, so it leaves Durham here against Kerry Blackshear. Duncan getting a handoff now. Naoki Tashiro in the backcourt along with Imamura. Good ball from the Golden Kings. Kai goes up, gets the block. Good defense by Soto-san. The foul has been committed in transition. The foul is going to be called against Naoki Tashiro. Well, Kai's got to be careful there because he swipes at it. There's no need to swipe, and he's probably lucky he didn't pick up his second personal foul. Well, Tashido will go to the bench, take a breather. Two-possession game. Hiroshima now with a chance to cut the deficit down yet again, but problem they're having right now, they're not making many perimeter shots. Blackshear thought about taking it down the middle. Bumps against Durham. Makes contact with the Moralco man. And there you can see Blackshear... Just trying to take it right to him. Trying to respond down the other end. Almost turns it over. Rush, we're going to a man-to-man -man defense. Kai matching up with Alan Durham. Four on the shot clock now. Kishimoto gets a switch on defense. Goes in the lane. Puts it up. Over Kai! That is Uriana! Well, he said that one up to Mount Fuji. That came down with a bit of snow on that one. Kishimoto-san! Are you serious? Well, there's Kyle DeMaio on the bench. I got to see the replay of that one again. I mean, look, in Japan, when something's amazing, you say, Sugoi! Majide! But I'll say it one more time. Ayasu Minasai! Good night! We got a timeout now. Let's see what these two teams have to say. Well, so far, you can see here the perimeter shooting from the Ryoku Golden Kings has been slightly better than the Hiroshima Dragonflies. But the one thing Hiroshima really has struggled, they really have struggled to move the ball effectively. The defense from the Dragonflies making it difficult for Kerry Blackshear, but also making it very, very difficult, of course, for Kaiju. Well, currently, Takashi Kishimoto leading the way here with eight points for the Ryoku Golden Kings. Well, Soto has eight as well for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. He is leading the way for that matter. The rebounds again. That's the interesting part here. The stats don't really tell the full story because Hiroshima Dragonflies, 16 rebounds in this game, only 10 coming from Roku Golden Kings, but it's been the three-point shooting that's been the difference.
Well, I got to give a shout out to Mr. Enzo Floho. You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Hoopnut. He's been talking about this match for a very long time. A very big advocate for Gilas basketball and the PBA. But a four-point lead at the moment here for Ryuko Golden Kings. Well, Golden Kings now going into man to man defense. Soto on the bench. So Evans along with Blackshear. Trying to Blackshear into the basket. He's got to go up with it. Count it. Gets the ab one. Blackshear will go the free throw line for the three point play. A chance to cut it down to a one point ball game. What do you think, Gilas fans? Kerry Blackshear. Can we make him into a naturalized player for Gilas for the future? He had a hell of a career last season playing in Turkey. We play against some of the best teams in Europe and put some impressive numbers up. This guy can post up, handle the ball, and he can shoot the three-pointer. Kerry Blackshear, one of the best, makes a three-point play. The Morocco man now going handoff with Ima Mora. Kishimoto, again, leading the score for the Roku Golden Kings. Find Alan Durham now on the switch. Here comes a double team. Well, that's costly. A wide open three. Three is up. No good. Well, good gamble now. It's Blackshear trying to push the tempo. Now they can retake the lead here by one point. Maybe two points if they hit a three-pointer. Blackshear trying to force his way against Kishimoto. A good defense by the five foot nine guard. Morocco man now kicking this one out. Three is up. Three is good. And again, transition play coming from Ryoko Golden Kings. Imamura sign. Nails it. Well, shout out to Team Pilapinas. Thank you for the follow on Twitter as well. And at the moment, four point lead to Ryoko Golden Kings. The perimeter shooting has been too much to handle for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, Blackshear took too long. Great defense coming from Kishimoto. But look how quickly they're able to push the ball in transition. Get the open look. Durham, Moralco, man. Find it, Imamura. Sugoi. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm thinking that if, if Hiroshima Dragonflies don't figure out what to do about the perimeter shooting in this game against Ryoko Golden Kings, this could potentially be a 10 or 15 point lead by halftime or by, by the third quarter in my mind. Because at the moment, way too many uncontested three pointers coming from the Ryoko Golden Kings. Now, if you remember when the PBA teams played in the East Asian Super League, that was a similar issue. It was the same thing for Utsunami Brex, Ryoko Golden Kings, some of the KBL teams as well, Seoul, SK Knights, and NYN KGC who won way too many open threes. Mr. King, shout out to you, my friend. Kai Bigan. Kuya. Kamo But 350 to go here in the second quarter. It's a four-point lead to the Ryoko Golden Kings. Again, trying to break. Well, he had a wide open look, didn't go for it. No one to kick out to. Well, this time he takes a three in the other corner. Three is up. No good. That's not a bad shot, but again, he probably should have taken the first one. And now they try to push it. Shimoto trying to run circles around the ball screen. It's trying to cause problems. Foul is going to be called on the ground. Well, the power is going to be called on Ryo Terashima. 321 to go. Now, here's the thing. Hiroshima Dragonflies, they don't want to let the bleed get any bigger, so they got to try and make sure they come up with some more stops. And again, they probably want to tie the game up going into the halftime break. Imamura goes all the way, hangs in the air, puts a deflection on. Now, good defense. This is where they got to push now. Get something going in transition. Dwayne Evans now setting the ball screen. Trying to go in. Kicks this one out to Mayo. Another one now. Seven on the shot clock. Evans taking on the Morocco man. mid raid Nails it. That's beautiful basketball. Well, penetration kick out. Solid play there coming from 
The Hiroshima Dragonflies cutting it down to a two-point ball game. Alan Durham, the Moralco man, just wasn't able to bolt him on defense. And now, Moralco man all the way. Get, can't get it. Gets his own rebound, maybe. No, he doesn't. Well, the Moralco man is out of bolts at the moment. Evans all the way. Doesn't tie it up. He missed the layup. And now Durham draws a foul, goes in, can't get the M1. But he'll go to the free throw line here for two shots. A foul is going to be called against Naoto Suji. Well, it's not going to be two free throws because the foul was called on the ground. So that's an interesting call there. I personally felt that he was in his step for a layup. But the referees felt that it will be a sideline ball here for Ryoko Golden Kings. Trying to go, my goodness, get out of here. Mayo said goodbye. For the shot clock, Imamura. Got to get something going down the middle. Puts up a hook shot, good defense. And that will be a 24 second violation. There's only one way to put it. I mean, Nick Mayo. Well, I think you might have ordered some Jolly B. Mayo said, go get the delivery, get out of here. That kind of play, just not welcome in the paint. But now, Hiroshima, chance to tie the game up. Maybe take the lead if they get a three-pointer. Mayo looking for a post-up now. No foul. Now, here comes. Well, what do we have here? Durham goes in. Morocco, man. Oh, Salamat, Paul. Well, he just threw that one down with a Morocco bolt. It just reminds all the PBA fans what they had in two conferences. Beautiful play coming from Mr. Allen Durham. Well, much better player now. Hiroshima just trying to build their confidence here, trying to break down. Want to tie this game up going into the halftime interval. Ima Mora going pick and pop now. We have Josh Duncan. Duncan look for an isolation. An offensive, well, they're going to call a foul against Josh Duncan again. Right, cool. Duncan just wrapping his arms around. Duncan picking up some silly fouls, of course. Doesn't need to commit those. Now, this is a potential two for one here for Hiroshima Dragonflies. So. Hiroshima gets a score here and a stop down the other end. Had the wide open look, didn't take it. In the lane, hangs in the air. Good defense. No foul called. So it's three times now. Hiroshima's had the chance to tie the, lead, the game up. They haven't done so. Well, Morocco man gets rejected and out. Fourth time. This time they'll go for the lead. Three is up. Three is good. Naoto, Suji san. Arigato. Now the two for one is back on again because eight seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. And a timeout here to Ryoko Golden Kings. Okay, Soto there on the bench. Eight points so far in the game. Not a bad debut. That was the missed, the good defensive play from Ryoko. But how about this play here again? Soto causing all sorts of problems. Soto says, not in my house. Take the Jolly B delivery back out again. And the three-pointer by Ryo Terashima. Oh, now to Suji, excuse me. Well, Kai Soto, you got to give him a bit of time, of course, because you can't just jump him into any league and expect him to drop 40, 50 points. He's got to understand the team philosophy. He's got to understand the culture. And he's got to learn how to play alongside the coach. Let me tell you something. In my experience of watching Kai Soto... The potential is there. He needs to toughen up a little bit, work on his game IQ. Everybody says he's got to get stronger. Yes, he's got to get stronger, but he's got to learn international basketball. And what better way to do it than in one of the best leagues here in the world, in the B League. Kai's time in the B League will be fundamentally great for his development. This is a great league. He's going to learn so much. I love his tattoos as well.
Well, the good thing for the Roku Golden Kings, a lot of shooters on the floor. That man there, Imamura, along with Kishimoto. Many players who can't spread the floor, of course. We're going to have to move the ball effectively now. Trying to build this one up here. Trying to get an isolation. Goes in now. Takes over Soto. Takes it. Nails it. And now Hiroshima can have the last shot here. Tie game. Ryoko up by one point. Black shit. Two seconds left. Got to put it up. Teardrop takes it. Pa'alam, goodbye. Salamatpo hits the very last shot of the first half. They're going to review this one. I just love that little teardrop. Get a little floater down the middle. Black shit was undecided what to do with it. Well, the officials now will review this one. No basket. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Well, that was, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you some stats and some highlights here from the first half of the moment. There it stands, Ryoko Golden Kings up by one point here against Hiroshima Dragonflies. Kai Soto's first game in the B-League, and at the moment he's playing some good stuff. We're going to give you some of the key moments in this game, how he has played so far. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be gone here for almost 20 minutes, so go get a drink, go get something to eat. If you're living in London, get the Uber Eats out and get some Jollibee, because Kai Soto... Well, he's coming ready to play. Well, what a game it has been so far. These two teams just exchanging three-point field goals. It's been very interesting at the moment. Ruku Golden Kings, 8 for 17 from the perimeter. Only three three-point field goals coming for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Soto, three blocks, two turnovers, only one rebound, but eight points. Well, get that drink. Get some food. Get some Jolly Bee. We'll be back in just under 20 minutes. Salamat, Paul.
Welcome back, Basel fans. It is second half highlight action from the game between the Hiroshima Dragonflies and our host currently, the Okinawa Ryoko Golden Kings. We're live here in the Okinawa Arena. And again, this sellout crowd of 10,000 seats is going to be a home venue, as you saw in the advertiser for the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Well, so far, the big talking point in this game has been the debut game for Hiroshima Dragonflies, Filipino import player, the one Asian import they could have, Kai Soto. Well, Kaiju, the currently eight points, three blocks, being a good solid rim protect. Does have one foul, but also two turnovers, but only one rebound for the big Filipino sensation. Well, Gilas fans all over the live stream on YouTube are asking about Kyle Tamayo. Now, Tamayo made his debut for the Dragonflies at the East Asian Super League. That was a two-handed rim rocker by Soto-san. Well, again, he's got to have confidence here tonight. Kai has got to play big. Again, you love the content here from the B-League. That was a little floater by Kishimoto. The high-low play, the M1 coming from Kerry Blackshear, the former Galatasaray player. Well, to all of our fans watching live on YouTube, who do you think will lead with the victory tonight? Will it be Carl Tamayo and the Ryoko Golden Kings, or will it be Kai Soto and the Hiroshima Dragonflies? Good defense. Moralco man. Alan Durham gives it a bolt like the Moralco bolts. Three-time best PBA import. Now loving life here on the island of Okinawa. Well, there are the stats so far. You can see beautiful perimeter shooting. 8 for 17, 47% for the Roku Golden Kings. Only three three-pointers coming from Hiroshima Dragonflies. But 12 field goals with inside the rainbow. Only five field goals from inside the rainbow coming from Roku Golden Kings. Rebounds going in favor. 16 of those going towards the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Aguila Vasquez, Magandana Rao. Storm the Dog 0.3. Salamat, Paul. Thank you very much. Now, if you want a shout-out, shoot me up on Twitter, at JoshBet1. I'll try and get you shout-outs at some point in this game because the live chat is moving very quickly. Remember, that is at JoshBet1. Let's call this hashtag... It's called hashtag B-League. Well, Jack Cooley's been relatively quiet in this game so far. The big man who played in the NBA for the Sacramento Kings. Remember, a four-year All-Star at the University of Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish is where he played. Now, I wonder how they're going to start it, because Dwayne Evans, along with Kerry Blackshear, looks like they're going to retake the court. Now, I wonder if they're going to bring Kai Soto back in the lineup. Well, many people have been wondering, and again, this is why I love Filipino basketball. The fans are very passionate. Filipino fans make Gilas basketball great. Every opinion, I absolutely love it. The biggest question, will Kai Soto go to the NBA? My opinion, it's going to be when he goes to the NBA. Soto, in my mind is still a very young player. He's got to grow into his body. He's only 20 years of age. But what this kid has is a basketball IQ. He is still raw potential. He could shoot the ball quite well, but what he needs to improve on is being a back-to-the-post player. So he needs to be able to physically cement the ball in the low block. There is Carl Tamayo, the former University of Philippines player. Also played for Gilas in the big game when Gilas beat Korea and the infamous Salamat Belangel, the three-pointer. But he is also a very good player. But going back to Kai, give Kai time. He needs two, three seasons to develop into an elite world player. He is still a kid, but this kid has a bright future. He's got a good work ethic. He needs time to get bigger, stronger. But more importantly, as the great Sean Reyes says, he needs to toughen up. He also needs to improve his basketball IQ as well. He's still a kid, remember. He's still learning. But my word is Kai Soto will have a bright future ahead of him. Thank you, Nakafu. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. O salamat. And thank you, Levi's. Well, we're going to get the second half underway. We're looking at Golden Kings with a one-point lead at the moment. 
Throwing it down to Duncan. Duncan now quick post up. That's a beautiful play there by the big man. Well, threw it back out to the perimeter. And once he cemented it, spin out to the baseline. And an easy little five-foot jump shot. Well, it's still his own defense. Black should try as a three. They've only made three tonight. And again, you like Teroshima going in for an offensive rebound. Now, Ryo Teroshima does the right thing there. Puts Imamura under pressure. But I got to agree with Imamura. I think that's a foul on Teroshima. Ryo Teroshima probably should get called for an over the back here. That's Ryoku Golden King's ball in my mind. In the lane now, tries to finish. Offensive rebound. Blackshear goes up with it. And second chance points going in favor of Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, the former Galatasaray player doesn't give up on it. And again, beautiful play. Turn over now. Kai Soto comes up with it now to get pushing transition. Finds black shit. He'll go up. Doesn't get the ad one, but he'll go to the free throw line. Again, you like to see how quickly Hiroshima Dragonflies, when they come up with a. Well, no, they haven't caught a. I think they caught a traveling violation. So, no foul. I think black shit was wondering why he wasn't going to the free throw line. And now another chance here for Ryoko Golden Kings to push the lead. Cooley now matched up here. Another three-point. Imamura, bit of a rush shot. Blackshear with a rebound. Well, shout out to Jaff Danal, official. Another three and again. Hiroshima nailing it. Naoto Tsuji-san. And that's a good way to start the second half. A two-point lead to Hiroshima. Yeah, beautiful play by the Dragonflies. Question is now, can Ryoko Golden Kings respond? They try to go down to Cooley now. Cooley guided by Blackshit. Kicking out to Kishimoto. Kishimoto now almost turns it over. Imamura, little teardrop goes in, gets a drop on it. Blackshit and Jack Cooley getting into it with each other. Another D3. Can't get this one. Well, this is where Kai Soto's got to go for offensive rebounds. Again, he stood there very still on the three-point shot. He's got to make himself a little bit more useful. Golden Kings try another three-point. Three is up. Three is good. Hayato Maki-san in the corner. Now the lead has returned. A three-point lead to Ryoko Golden Kings. Staying in the 2-3 zone now. Trying to make... Hiroshima shoot the three-pointer. There's a kick out. Seven on the shot clock. Dwayne Evans. And then you can see again, Evans went for a shot. But that's the second time that Kai Soto doesn't go for the offensive board. That's something he's got to improve. But that comes with game IQ. Understanding that being 7'2", seven 7'3", foot seven foot you've got to get more offensive boards if you want to play in the NBA. But also, you got to be like that if you want to play here in the B League as well. This is one of the best international leagues in the world as Josh Duncan looking more like Tim Duncan out there. Well, Tim Duncan, the lookalikes comparisons. Five-point lead to the Golden Kings. Evans now, high post, looking to get something going. Trying to isolate, goes in for a fadeaway. Good defense by Jack Cooley, no foul called. And then again, you can see Akuli just holding off Kai Soto. But again, Soto may have just tipped it into his own basket. And we're going to have a timeout now. Because now it's turning into a bit of a problem here for Hiroshima Dragonflies. No fight, no desire whatsoever. Now watch here. Akuli just holds off Soto. That probably should have been a foul. But watch Soto. Does he? Well, no. Kerry Blackshear does. Well, those two points are going to go to the captain of the team so it will be a seven point lead in a timeout so philippine basketball fans right now not enough movement from kai soto very static on offense two three zone defense being played by the roku golden kings and at the moment hiroshima dragonflies just not very aggressive in their offense trying to break it down not moving the ball not making any penetrations well there was a three-pointer my naoto suji 
But they need more of that. They need people to step up and make some big shots. Well, I'd still like to know from the Philippine basketball fans, how do you see Kai fitting in here with the Hiroshima Dragonflies? Remember, they're in third place in their conference. One game and one victory behind. Ryoko Golden Kings top two will qualify for the playoffs. And also there is the wild card as well. These two teams are in the Western Division. Shimane Susana Magic currently top with 31-7. and seven. Ryoko Golden Kings 29-9, and nine, while Hiroshima Dragonflies 28-10. Sitting just above Bobby Ray Pox and the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. Well, Hiroshima now. Again, got to try and find a way to break the defense down. Mayo into the game. He'll play the small forward role. Again, the movement on offense. Just not good enough right now. The foul is going to be called against Kishimoto. It's a little five-point ball game. The Golden Kings are right there. Now, there's no need for Kishimoto to do that because you can see Cooley, Imamura, Duncan all ready to collapse on him. So the reach was unnecessary. Blackshit kicks out again at Suji. Suji hangs in the air, but again, Kai not going for a third offensive rebound. Soto's got to get an offensive rebound. Again, if he wants to get 20 points this game, he's got to go for second chances. At the moment, making no effort whatsoever. Cooley trying to post up Blackshear, diving on the ground. And a three-second violation against Jack Cooley. So turnover yet again. But that's down to Kerry Blackshear coming over the double team, putting Jack Cooley under intense pressure. Suji not going for a three-pointer. There's a penetration. Another kick out. Blash is in the post. Wants the ball. They don't get the ball to him. Suji comes off a ball screen now. There's a mismatch. Blash is another kick out. Suji another three. Count it. That's a big time three-pointer. And that's much better basketball. That time there, Hiroshima going for a few post entries. Another kick out. But then the pick and roll. Isolating the perimeter shot from now. See Sushi. Now it's Osuji, excuse me, on the three-point line. Cutting it down now to a four-point ball game. Duncan gets caught a double team. Imamura, you can't leave him wide open. And that's why Nick Mayo made a poor decision to go for the double team. Because Keita Imamura-san can be lights out from downtown. There's another handoff. Suji, can he go for a third three? In and out, doesn't get it. It's a good look, but he's got to make that one. Cooley looking for a post-up now. Seven-point lead to the Golden Kings. Trying to take on Kerry Blackshear. Well, Duncan, uncontested, doesn't get it. Good rebound. And now Hiroshima must try to cut into the lead now. Good ball movement. Mayo, wide open. Assist coming. Blackshear gets it to Mayo. Mayo capitalizes. We like how Blackshear cemented the low block. The double team is coming and just gave it a little bit of a tip pass to Nick Mayo on the perimeter. Well, again, sloppy pass in the corner. Kishimoto was wide open. And Imamura unable to take care of the rock. Well, those two together here in the B League, I mean, they made it to the final last season where they lost to Utsunomiya Brex. Kai Tabs currently playing for the Shiga Lake Stars was a key reason. For the Brex, well, look who's come back into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the Morocco man. Three-time PBA best import. Again, one of the top imports he would have found in the PBA back in his days.
Well, Black Sheet looking for a handoff now. Post up, good hands. Lots of reaching going on, no foul called. Oh, surely it's gotta be a foul, definitely. Well, Imamura can be as angry as he wants, but again, KT Imamura reaching, pushing. Probably could have been cool. Again, he's gotta be careful here. He doesn't want to pick up a tentacle. There's a first foul. There's a second one. Well, KT Mamora tried to go for a double team, but again, just very out of control there. There was no need for that one. Nakamura now. He'll try the three. Three is up, and Nakamura again ices a triple. And now it's back to a one point ball game. Golden Kings had a seven point lead, they were unable to capitalize. Can the Golden Kings restore a little bit of order? Morocco man, double team coming. Again, a lot of double teams, but a lot of open shooters. Down the middle, trying to force his way to the bucket. Good defense, goes in. And the Morocco man, three time PBA import. Again, he wants the M1, just going to work. Three point ball game now. Just over two and a half to go. Black shit. Well, he made these last year in Turkey and again ties the game up at 52 apiece. All of a sudden, they only hit three three pointers in the first half, but that's four triples for the Hiroshima Dragonflies here in the third quarter. 2.20 to go now. Morocco Man has a mismatch, tries to isolate, forces his way up, kicks out, dunk it, he'll try a three, he'll put it up. Can't get it. Blackshear is going to get called for the foul, I believe. And Kerry Blackshear should have no arguments there because there's clear contact. Well, Blackshear's going to have to go to the bench to take a breather. So Dwayne Evans comes back into the game. Costly turnovers that they don't need. We'll try to find Cooley under the basket. Cooley, too big, too strong, just too good. Well, cool as you like, Jack Cooley. Mobile, agile, and sometimes can be a little bit hostile. Something that they need to try and adjust it. Again, trying to get this one going. Mayo, he'll try from downtown. He doesn't go for it. Tries to take on Emo Moore. It goes to the fadeaway mid-range. Gets it to drop. Wow. Big time shot by Mayo. We're going to a man-to-man -man defense. Moralco man under the basket. Mahili got cold. Sa Alan Durham. Mahili got cold. Sa Moralco man. Well, Durham has come ready to play. Tries to go in the lane, takes a tough one, doesn't get it. Evans, he'll try an open three, takes it, can't get it. Well, could have given them the lead now. Two-point ball game. Moralco man, can't yeah, feel the confidence, wants to take on Dwayne Evans. Kicks out, good ball movement. Try another three, co flipping, flips it in. And again, a big time shot by the former Chiba Jets B-League champion of 2021. Again, it's been all going to work here so far for the Ryoko Golden Kings. But an offensive foul. And it's all falling apart for Hiroshima Dragonflies. Good defense. Well, Dwayne Evans trying to say that he got pushed over there, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Definitely a moving screen. Morocco man now looking to isolate here. Knocks over Dwayne Evans. No foul. Flipping three. Takes it. Can't get it. Mayo with a rebound. Throws it right to Jack Cooley. Cooley gets blocked. Well, 
Akinkai Birgen. Nick Mayo with the rejection. So now Morocco Matt, few seconds here, tries to isolate against Dwayne Evans. Trying to force his way out, good ball movement. Down the middle, flipping goes in, Fangerol. Flipping Fangerol, gotta like that one. One second left, force it up, ooh, almost got it. That would have been Uwea Nah. Back to a seven point ball game, all of a sudden, the Rashima Dragonflies were able to tie the game up, but Roku Golden Kings just moving the ball very effectively. And that is the end of the third quarter. What well, we have 35,000 people watching live here on YouTube. This is incredible. Let us know who are you supporting? Are you supporting Hiroshima Dragonflies or are you supporting the Ryoko Golden Kings live here in the Okinawa Arena? One of the host venues for the 2023 FIBA World Cup. The final will be played in Manila, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have 50,000 fans at the final. We'll be back in one minute for the fourth quarter. Well, here's some of the key highlights here. Now to Suji hitting some big three-pointers in the third quarter. Remember, they only hit three in the first half, but got it up to seven by the third quarter. Suji hitting three of those. One come for Kerry Blackshear. Imamura. Again, he's had to have some switch on defense. There was the three-pointer from Nick Mayo. The assist coming from Kerry Blackshear. Again, solid basketball move from these two teams. Well, now and never here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Trailing by seven points. Remember, they win tonight. They'll have the tied record with the Roku Golden Kings here in the Western Conference. Shimane Susano Magic, top of this division. Oh, gets rejected. What a play. Caught a foul, actually. That's a good play there. Curled the screen. Drew the contact, so he'll go to the free throw line. Well, Cooley requesting for a coach's challenge, but that's a foul. However you look at me, mean, Cooley swipes at him like a volleyball player. Jack Cooley looking like he wants to go play volleyball at Antoneo, maybe De La Salle University. You can't play like that in the B League, I'm sorry. Well, these are big free throws now here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. You got to keep trying to cut into deficit. Again, they don't want this lead to get too big. Isaiah Murphy currently at the free throw line. Isaiah Murphy, actually originally from Okinawa, Japan, went to Pima Community College before playing at Eastern New Mexico, joining the Dragonflies in 2020. Making them both now. Cutting it down to a five-point ball game. Hiroshima trying to stay in there. Playing in front of this very passionate crowd. It's Josh Duncan also subbing back into the game. No sign of Carl Tamayo at the moment. The highly anticipated signing here for... Ryoko Golden Kings leaving the University of the Philippines. Mayo matching up now here with the Morocco man. Durham trying to back down. A few seconds left. Kicks out. Flippins made 1 3. Overhelped. Again, they'll take that gamble. Co flipping, not the best three point shooter on this team. So they'll live with that shot. Now they got to play defense. They got to be compacted. Well, there's a wide open look. Three is up. Three is good. 
Nails it for downtown. See ya. Funyo. With the big time three pointer. Cutting it down to a two point ball game. But can Ryoko Golden Kings, can they capitalize here? We have to switch on defense. Duncan with the mismatch. Got it in the low post by Isaiah Murphy. Again, gets it to drop. Or oh, Josh Duncan looking like a baby. Tim Duncan taking advantage of the mismatch. Dragonfly is another three pointer. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. Bit of a rush attempt from Murphy. Flipping. Turns it over now. Dragonflies have numbers. They turn it over in transition. Morocco man tripped over when he came up with the ball. Well, I've just had somebody ask me, am I promoting the Morocco Bolts? No, I'm not. Alan Durham was a good basketball player in the PBA and was a primetime import, of course, when he played for the Morocco Bolts. So that's just his nickname, of course. Well, that was Yoshiyuki Matsuaki into the game here for the Ryoko Golden Kings. He's in the lane now. Kishimoto can't get it, but the offensive rebound. The foul. Well, I think he stepped out of it. No, foul called. So I felt Josh Duncan got fouled there. Oh, stepped out of bounds, excuse me, but they're going to call the foul. So there was Kishimoto. Good defense by Nick Mayo. The foul was called on the ground, so it's not going to be two free throws here. And that's going to be the second team foul, I believe, against Hiroshima Dragonfly. So inbound play. Six on the shot clock now. Durham looking for an isolation. Kicks out. Good ball movement. Three is up. Three is no good. Mayo with a rebound. No black shit, no Kai Soto on the floor for the Dragonflies. No size whatsoever, smaller lineup. Evans isn't going to get the post up here against Durham. Evans crossing over, trying to force his way to the bucket. Again, no foul called. Six seconds on the shot clock, got to get something going. Putting you down the middle, force up a circus shot. And it's poor offense here from the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Not getting anything. Probably need black shit back in the game. Maybe Kai Soto... Durham goes up. Too big. Too strong. Morocco man gets the ab one. Alan Durham can't yeah, just go into work at the moment. Well, somebody called the principal because Alan Durham is playing bully basketball. We got a bully on the basketball court at the moment. Report to the office. Run away from the bully. That bully is the Morocco man. Well, Soto back in the game now. Six-point ball game. Capitalizes on the three-point play. Seven-point lead here to Ryoko Golden Kings. The Morocco man, Alan Durham, three-time best PBA import, causing all sorts of problems, bullying his way on the basketball court. Evans now, again, really struggling. Takes the pass, big three by Suji, can't get it. And again, Soto going in for no offensive rebounds. Well, Kai's got to ask himself, if you want to be a difference here in the B League, you got to get more second chances. You got to be hungry. You got to be like Alan Durham. You got to be like the Morocco man. Another deep three. Three is up. Right in the face of Soto. Big time shot. That's a huge three-pointer by Naoki Tashiro-san. Now it's a 10-point lead. And all sorts of problems now. Roku Golden Kings running away with this one. Hiroshima Dragonfly is cooling timeout.
Again, the structure in the offense here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. They need to get better shots here. They're not moving the ball effectively. It's been a lot of isolation basketball. The foul is going to be called against Yoshiyuki Matsuwaki-san. A little bit overzealous on the defense. Yeah, needs to keep his composure. Again, the game is in their hands to win at the moment. They don't want to throw this one away. They just allow there to be any form of a comeback from the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Now that's going to be team foul number two for... The Ryoku Golden Kings. Blackshit down the middle, hangs in the air, too much on it, too strong, but to get an offensive rebound. Soto goes in, towers his way, blocking foul. So Kai will go to the free throw line. That's better for Kai. Getting the well, getting a loose ball. Didn't so much get the offensive rebound. And that's the only criticism I've had of Kai Soto today. Not getting enough offensive rebounds. But now Kaiju will go to the free throw line here for two shots. Well, Soto originally from Las Piñas in Gilas, Filipinas. Of course, played the time high school boss with Anteneo de Manila High School. Then went to play for the Antoneo Blue Eagles in Quezon City in the UAAP. Spent some time at the Skill Factory in Georgia and IMG in Florida for playing two seasons with Adelaide 36ers in the NBL. Well, Kai Soto, again, it's all about education of basketball. He's got to develop a basketball brain. He's got to make himself into a basketball professor if he wants to make it to the next level. Kai now against Miracle Man. Yeah, good defense. Soto with the rim protection in, not allowing Allen Durham to get anything easy. Black shit, three, doesn't get it. That's better from Kai Soto. Well, Kai's got to keep doing that. Got a battle. That's going to be out of bounds. But again, ladies at, well, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Cool. But let me tell you, because Kai went for the offensive re rebound and competed right here, watch Kai Soto. That's Puso. That's fight right there. And that's what makes it a loose ball. Well, that's interesting because I would say that is probably should be a Hiroshima Dragonflies ball. But again, you got to credit the hustle from Naoki Tashiro fighting for that one. Eight point ball game now. Kishimoto coming off one screen. That's a big lineup Hiroshima's gone with. Yeah, good block by Evans. Good rim protection. 2.1 on the shot clock, so that's going to be possession back to the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Well, Durham again, maybe looking a little bit fatigued at the moment. Jack Cooley also back in the game here for the Ryoko Golden Kings. Soto for three, doesn't get it. Again, maybe not the best shot they want Kai to take. Another chance here for the Golden Kings to try and push in this one. Another deep three. Kishimoto wide open. Oh, where was the defense? You don't leave Kishimoto wide open. Ruchi with the deep three-pointer. Suji tries another one. Again, can't get it. A big offensive rebound coming from Kerry Blackshear. 11-point ball game with 4.50 to go. I think they called a foul here against the Dragonflies, actually. It's interesting. That's a three-point by Suji. Now, did Blackshear push somebody on the back on the way? Or do we have a timeout? That's a better question. So the foul is on Jack Cooley. Yep. So that's his fourth personal foul. So one more, and he will be out of it. So those of you who are accustomed to PBA basketball, where it's six fouls. International hoops, 5,000. You foul out of the game. Well, we got a timeout now. These two teams want to talk it over as we have less than five minutes. Golden Kings lead this one by 11 points.
Well, the thing right now is the problem for Hiroshima Dragonflies, they only have one foul to give. Five team fouls. They'll send them to the free throw line. So Nick Mayo not on the floor at the moment. Rio Terashima, Lama Dwayne Evans, Kerry Blackshear. So baseline ball. And Isaiah Murphy also into the game. Blackshear thought about taking the three point. Goes in. Euro step. Blackshear simply unstoppable getting to the basket. And that's what they need right now. Need composure. Good plays. No Kai Soto on the floor. Blackshear at the five. Dwayne Evans at the four. Terashima Lama with Isaiah Murphy. There's a penetration in the lane. Goes up. Gets rejected. Well, what a block shot by Evans. And now, Evans looking to push this one. Contact all the way. Finishes it. Kisses that one off the backboard. And all of a sudden, two back-to-back -back field goals there coming from Hiroshima Dragonflies. Four minutes to go. Both teams, three team fouls. Only one foul to give. Durham now. Morocco boy. Throwing it down low to Cooley. There's a kick out. Another three. Takes it. Ayasu Minasai. Dozo Yoroshiku. Ruchi Kishimoto. One more time. Punishes the Dragonflies with a big time shot. Again, that's a problem. They pay way too much respect here to Golden Kings. Evans for three. He'll respond with it. That's a huge three pointer. And emotionally, that just keeps them in this game. Well, we got another timeout here, 3.34 to go. But the problem for the Hiroshima Dragonflies, they're giving way too many open looks here from the perimeter. Beautiful basketball by the Roku Golden Kings. But this is a huge three-pointer by the Dragonflies. Well, that is Salamat Magadagabi Uwiana. That keeps them in the game. But if I'm telling you right now, between these two teams, Ryoko Golden Kings, they're just playing better basketball. They move the ball effectively. They get the shots they want on the perimeter. And they cause all sorts of problems. Well, now, if you're Roku Golden Kings, you don't need to rush anything. You just need to be very patient in your offense. Run the shot clock down and try to get a very high percentage look. Well, to all the Philippine fans watching right now here on the YouTube stream, we have 35,000 people. There's Coach Milling. That man played many years of professional basketball in France, where he was also a coach. But in 1998, he also played one season with Hitachi back in Japan. So he has a bit of experience as a player playing here in Japan before becoming a coach. Alan Durham now, the three-time best PBA import in the game here with Jack Cooley, the former NBA player from the Sacramento Kings. Kishimoto, step back, another three. Anong oras nangayon! It is Ryoichi Kishimoto time! This guy is a walking three-point bucket. Well, he has been killing it from the perimeter. Three minutes to go now. Trying to find Kerry Blackshear. Gets caught a double team. Kick out Suji. Doesn't go for it. Step back. Big three. Doesn't get it. And again, Ryoku Golden Kings dominating the rebounds. Now it's going to be a big possession here. Kishimoto now becoming the Japanese Stephen Curry gets rejected good block well they got to be quick here they got to get something Evans goes in Fanger I missed it missed the Fanger roll Suji should have gone for it takes a three can't get it the foul has been cool so it's going to be two free throws here for 
The Washington Dragonflies trailing by 10 points at 2.15 to go. Well, he's got to make these two free throws, and they're going to have to get a stop down the other end. But the problem is, Uichi Kishimoto is becoming like the Japanese Stephen Curry of this quarter. Three three-pointers coming for Kishimoto. Blackshear makes the first free throw, cutting it down to nine points. We can make this a potential four possession game if he makes this free throw, but the King here, they've only got one foul to give. Only one more foul before they put the Roku Golden Kings in the penalty. They want to make sure they save that foul for the end when they have to put a full court press. Must get a stop here. Kishimoto. Again, control the tempo. Durham. Facing up here against Dwayne Evans. Moralco man. Too big. Too strong. Going in like a baby. Shaquille O'Neal. Well, he, Moralco, bolted his way to the basket. And there's a cross court now. Evans trying to force his way in. Pump fakes. Another kick out, another three. Murphy nails it. Now it's a seven-point ball game. That's a huge three-pointer by Z Murphy. Again, keeping Hiroshima in this game. But they must get a stop here. If Durham gets in the low block, they got to double-team him. They cannot allow Kishimoto on the perimeter. But Durham in the paint. But a blocking foul has been called. That's the last foul to give. No more fouls here. It's not the foul they wanted to give away, of course, but they got no choice at this point. Kishimoto now. Again, has been killing it from the perimeter in this game. Splits the defense. Imamura, teardrop, can't get it. Well, Blackshear's got to be quick, but another foul's been called. And that's going to be two free throws for Hiroshima Dragonflies. Now, I wonder... If this will get upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul. Well, watch Jack Cooley. I don't think there's going to be any upgrade there whatsoever. I think the sell of the foul definitely has been made, but it's just going to be two regular free throws, I imagine. So if he makes these two free throws, this will be big here because... I, do, I don't imagine they're going to upgrade this to an unsportsmanlike foul. I really don't think so. Let's have a look again at the replay. Now watch. No, there's no way they can upgrade. <laughs> oh, black shit. Hollywood, baby. There's definitely contact. There's definitely a foul. There's no arguments. But I think black shit probably did maybe over-exaggerate just a little bit at the end. But Kerry black shit, Tommy played in Galatasaray in the basketball Champions League last season. He is one of the best post players. Step out to the perimeter. Just offers you so much in the offense. So because his team fouls now, I believe this is just going to be two free throws. But again, Basel fans did carry black shit. Secure the rebound. Was there enough contact for a foul? What do you think? Let us know in the live chat. But if he makes these two free throws, he will cut it down to a five-point ball game, which makes the potential two possession. I don't think the unsportsmanlike like has to be cool, but we'll find out in the second lineup. Blackshear makes the first. Well, if this has been upgraded, this will be interesting. Well, it might very well be, yeah. Yeah, it's unsportsmanlike. So, they're going to get the ball back. Even better for the Dragonflies. Well, I am as amazed as everyone else here because I didn't think that should have been upgraded. But, the possession now. 1 minute 12 here left in the game. Hiroshima down by 5.
trying to get the ball inbound. They don't want to turn this over now. They got to be smart. Roku Golden Kings. Black Sheep maybe getting away with an unspoken. With a legal screen. Goes off the backboard. Too strong. Offensive board goes up. Still can't get it. Evans couldn't capitalize. Again, Durham. He gets fouled. That's a silly foul to give away because now Alan Durham will go to the free throw line. And you want to ask the question. Well, Amo Sando, that is correct. SJ Bellinhell, you remember it against Korea. Salamat Bellinhell. But at the moment, well, that's a silly foul to give away because Durham now will get two free throws. Well, the Morocco man makes the first one. Well, Kai Soto's introduction to the B League, again, it takes time to settle into this league, so I know there are expectations on the young Kaiju but it will take time for him to build his confidence and to build him. Kyle Tamayo, the same goes for him. Made his debut at the EASL. Durham makes them both. Seven-point ball game. Well, Navi Hiroshima, you probably want to go for a three-pointer here. Suji now got it heavily by Kishimoto. Heavily all over him. Well, you got to be quick here. You got no time to waste. There's a contact, no foul, well, no foul call. That's interesting. But the Morocco man, who in my mind has been the best player in this game, completely unstoppable on both ends of the floor. Defensively, has been phenomenal here for the Roku Golden Kings. But offensively, Kishimoto in the fourth quarter. Well, that's a foul in my mind. That's a, that should be two free throws, but again, they're not going to call that one. Well, big free throws coming up now here for Ryoko Golden Kings. And they will stay in top position, second, excuse me, in the Western Conference. Just behind the Shimane Susano Magic. But what a game it's been here from the home team. In front of the 10,000 capacity crowd here at the Okinawa Arena. This will be a host venue. We've got a timeout now as these two teams are going to talk it over. Well, essentially, if you're Hiroshima Dragonflies, you got to go for a bull screen, pick and pop, whatever, spread the floor, but you got to get a three pointer hit. 33.8 seconds left. You're down by eight points. The problem is they gave away all the team fouls. This is why you never want to get into the penalty or put the other team in the penalty too early because you want to be able to take gambles at the end of the game. Well, you got to be quick here. They got to go for three. There's Mayo. Mayo, step back. Three takes it, doesn't get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands here, Ryoko Golden Kings are going to stay with a very dominant record here in the Western Conference of the B-League as they further improve their chances. Another three-pointer. Kishimoto, the Japanese Stephen Curry. Sugoi! Watashi no ne wa Kishimoto-san. Well, that was just a big three-pointer. The response down the other end, cutting it back down to eight points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us. At the end of this one, Ryoko Golden Kings, they win it 86-78.
against Hiroshima Dragonflies. It's all over here at the Okinawa Arena. Well, what a game it was. Kai Soto's introduction. Again, showing how tough it is here in the B-League. Ten points tonight here for Kai. Good performance. But again, lots of improvement for Kaiju. Carl Tamayo, his national teammate. Figuilas Filipinas, unable to make the lineup here tonight. But lots of potential in both these two players. Well, what a game it was in the end. Suji put on a good shooting performance on the perimeter. Fourth quarter, Roku Golden Kings winning by one, but it was all about the third quarter and where they ran away with it in the end. Dwayne Evans, tough game for him to say the least. Thank you to Jan, Luis, and Tok as well. Salamapo. Thank you to Mac. And thank you to all the Gilas fans for coming out to watch. We had 36,000 people watching live at one moment. What a game it was. And we're going to hear momentarily from the Ryoko Golden Kings players. Well, you can see Hiroshima Dragonfly players showing their respect to the crowd. And shout out to Enzo Flojo, or Floho, the hoop nut. And thank you to Kimani Woods. Thank you for your kind words for watching us live here on the live YouTube stream. え、こんばんは。え、ま、今日も本当にお遅い時間まで本当にたくさんのお礼ありがとうございました。あの、ま、シーズンまた再開して、ここから本当にあの、一つ一つ負けられない戦いが続いていくので、引き続き応援よろし
the Okinawa Ryoko Golden Kings. Let's listen now to Dai Okatani. Well, he says, it was a tough game, but we were happy so much. As in the end, we've won in this beautiful Okinawa Arena. Well, the final words were his team were very happy and hoping that the fans will continue to support them to the end. Let's listen now to Keita Imamura. え、well, Katie Imamura also acknowledging what Dio Katani said. It was a tough game, but we respect that very much. And we had to work very hard, but also said, please continue to support the Ryoko Golden Kings this season in the Western Conference of the B-League. Salamat to everybody watching live. We're going to show you stats and highlights here from this game. What a game it was. I think a lot of fans obviously very disappointed that Kai Soto didn't get enough rebounds. Shout out to Kuya Mo Alex. Salamat. Kamusta po? Magandanarao. Again, there are the players from the Golden Kings. Jack Cooley. Bit of a frustrating game for him, but here are the key highlights from this game. Again, Hiroshima Dragonflies almost kept it very close here with the Roku Golden Kings. That was the first defensive play in Kaiju. Kaisan. Kai Soto said. Again, was unable to finish the game and win is this. Keita Imamura, the three-point sharpshooter for the Roku Golden Kings. Yo, Terashima as well, but look at the ball movement here again. Kishimoto for the deep three in the corner. I want to call him the Japanese Stephen Curry from this game. Moving the ball so effectively. As George Gervin as Kai Soto through the lane. Going with the finger off. Beautiful move by Kaiju. Well, it was just that kind of game, of course. Again, finding the Morocco man. Well, that was a little deep in the lane, a little Euro step. Yeah, when these two teams were able to get into the paint and break down the defense, they just played more effective basketball. Whether they got points on the perimeter or they got points inside the paint, that's what you got to ask yourself. These two teams, Kaiju with a throwdown. If you want to be a Bealy contender and compete with the Chiba Jets, Tokyo Alvac, you got to find other ways to score. It can't just be chronic run and gun basketball. You have to play together, be collective. That was Kishimoto with the big time play. The 
But just unselfish basketball in the end. That was the difference between these two teams. Ima Mora hitting big shots. But here came Moralco. The Moralco Matt, excuse me. Alan Durham, three-time best PBA import. Well, that was a good play there from Josh Duncan. Duncan with championship experience as well within here, the B-League. Just a solid player as Kerry Blackshear fighting for the offensive rebound. But a solid, solid play here. But one thing, of course, you got to credit Roku Golden Kings. These players, they understand where the team is at all times and, you know, why they're just such a, an effective player. But again, just beautiful basketball on both ends of the floor from the Roku Golden Kings. Moving the ball effectively. But there you can see Cole Flippin, not a predominant three-point shooter. But stepped up big time in this one. And those are some huge plays at the edge, just keeping them in this game. And that might have been the shot there. They probably could have called this game. But look at this, the Euro step coming from the former Galatasaray back. Kerry Blackshear. But again, Jack Cooley kicking this one out. Finding the Japanese Stephen Curry. Kishimoto-san. Well, he is just phenomenal when he gets his perimeter shot going. Simply unstoppable. Dwayne Evans making that a seven-point ball game. But it just wasn't enough in the end. Just good basketball here for both these two teams. But in the end, it was... The difference in perimeter shooting from Ryoko Goldick is now credit to Hiroshima Dragonflies. They did hit five big three-pointers in the third quarter, but it just wasn't enough. Let's take a look at the stats now from this game. Well, there you can see Hiroshima finished with 12 three-pointers, but 16, 50% from the Ryoko Golden Kicks. That's just golden right there. The offensive rebounds and total went in the favor of the Dragonflies. But the assist was a big difference. Turnovers as well. Both these two teams, something they want to work on going into the next games. Well, we hope you joined, enjoyed the live stream here from this game. Phenomenal atmosphere here in the Okinawa Arena. Remember, this will be a home venue for the FIBA World Cup. And let me tell you, Gilas fans, I know you're watching live here, but I'm looking forward to going to the Mall of Asia Arena and the Philippine Arena. Let me tell you about this Okinawa Arena. I was there a few days ago. It is a beautiful basketball place. And let me tell you about Okinawa Shi, the city. Unbelievable on the sea. This is the modern day basketball country. That top tier there where the flags are, that's the media room. That's where I was. Beautiful stadium. Okinawa. I got to come back on vacation. Kishimoto with 20 points. And you can see now it's Osuji also with 14. Jack Cooley along with Kerry Blackshear. Doing their jobs on the rebounds, but the assist coming from both Dwayne Evans and Kishimoto. What a game it was in the end. These two teams just went back and forth at each other. Xin chào, em khỏe hôm, hai rô. Nice to meet you. Vợ của anh là người Việt. Well, final shots now coming from this arena. More games to come. Ryoko Golden Kings, again, will stay top. Well, no, excuse me. We'll stay in second place here of the Western Division. They will now move to 30-9, and nine, just behind the Shimane Suzano Magic, who currently are top of the West. Well, the problem now for Hiroshima Dragonflies, just below them, are the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. Blackshear finishing with 14 points in the end. Maybe we should bring Jimmy Alapag out of retirement and maybe he should try and play for one of these two teams. Maybe Hiroshima to try and help Kai Soto's confidence.
Well, what an arena. This is one of the very best. I would not even just even Japan. World basketball. Ten points to Kai Soto. Only two rebounds. Something he needs to work on for sure. Jack Cooley, relatively quiet game for him, the former NBA player. But nonetheless, something to build on for the future for sure. Well, what a lineup it is, and what a game it was between these two teams. Phenomenal performance, to say the least, from both of them. But in the end, it can only be one winner, and that's for sure. That is going to be tonight. Ryoko Golden Kings, there's the next game. Well, they'll play each other again. Game two. Well, more games to come here from the B-League. Make sure you subscribe to the B-League on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And those are the other games you can see. Some big games going on. Chiba Jets played today against Utsunami at Brex. Two teams competing. And was the Brex who knocked them out of the playoffs last year. But also the Jets defeated them in the B-League Championship two years ago as well. well. What a game it was in the end. And quite a big finish to say the least. Well, thank you, Salamat Kim Asanza. And big thank you to our photographers and courtside fans as well. Just enjoying the occasion. If you're in Japan, make sure you travel to the island of Okinawa and go to the city of Naha, which is the biggest city, but also to Okinawa City, this beautiful place. This is probably the best arena we have in Jap Japanese basketball. Final highlights from the games. In the end, Ryoko Golden Kings, they leave with the big victory. Nonetheless, a big, big performance here from the Golden Kings. Well, that was a three-pointer by Kishimoto. This is B-League Basketball. We thank you for joining us. More games to come in the Japanese B-League. One of the top professional basketball leagues here in the world. But for now, it is... Arigato gozaimas. Ayaso minasai. We will see you later for more games. Thank you and good night. Goodbye.